Welcome to the GTRC. My name is Steve Morris. I'm the facility manager here. And we're just going to give you a virtual tour today of the facilities. Uh, we've actually been running for about two years now. The facility was part funded by uh, Objective One money uh, through WEFO and WAG and the equipment was donated to us by Kinetic. So let's go in and have a look at the facility. Okay, so we're just about to walk into the rig room. Uh, predominantly we've got two rigs. We have a, a sector combustor rig and a high pressure combustion rig. Uh, both are used for uh, research uh, into um, high pressure combustion for gas turbines. The sector combustor rig is used for internal measurements and the high pressure combustion rig is a more flexible rig where we can use lots of test modules uh, which we'll go through later. So if we go into the rig room. Okay, so this is the rig room. The first rig that we have here is the sector combustor rig. This is the inlet um, part of the rig, so we have um, air at high pressure and high temperature coming in there, and this is the actual working section. We'll just move on to the high pressure combustion rig. This is the, the inlet side, and what we're going to do we're actually now going to just go outside and have a look at the, the plant um, that's required to deliver the, the pressure. What we see behind me um, is a Joy 2.2 megawatt compressor. This supplies the, the combustion air to the rig that we've just seen. Uh, we actually have to ring Chorus Energy Control to, um, to get a permissive start for the, for the compressor. So what, what Chorus do is actually wait for um, a model change on the strip mill before allowing us to start. If we were to start outside of that permissive start, it's possible that we could stop the strip milling for us. Next to the compressor, we actually have the, the preheater. So the compressor will actually deliver um, just compressed air at about 5 kilograms per second and 16 bar um, absolute pressure into the preheater. The preheater is a 6 megawatt down-fired, non-vitiating um, heater supplied on natural gas. This actually heats up the, uh, the combustion air then up to about 850 or 900 Kelvin. From the outlet of the heater then, that will actually go into the inlet of the combustion rigs which we've just seen. The facility is quite unique in that we can run uh, liquid fuel, all sorts of liquid fuel, whether they be diesel, biodiesel, um, bio oils, uh, but also we can run different types of gaseous fuels. We run methane, natural gas, and any mixtures really that we can actually mix in a bottle. So we've run um, hydrogen um, mixed with methane, CO2 mixed with methane, and just 100% methane for experiments. So what we have here is a, a bundage fuel store for the liquid fuel. To the left here we actually have a letdown rig where we actually let the, um, the gaseous fuel down. The reason you have to do that is when you're letting fuel down, gaseous fuel from higher pressure, it can actually freeze um, the control valve. So this is just a, an immersion bath which actually keeps the gas at ambient temperature. Okay. What we've got behind me here are actually two force draft cooling towers. As you can imagine, uh, the size of these rigs and the, the thermal input uh, we actually generate quite a lot of heat and we have to dissipate that heat. The compressor that we've just seen as well uses uh, well requires quite a lot of um, cooling as well. We're actually back in the rig room now, back with the sector combustion rig. So now we've actually seen where uh, the actual main combustion area is coming from. So it's actually coming in through this pipe here, travelling in that direction. So we have our 16 bar air, uh, five, possibly 5 kilograms per second and 850 to 900 K coming into this pipe. So this open space here is actually our working section and our test rig would actually go in there. What we have in front of us is a traversing probe. Now on this rig we would typically have a combustion can like this and what this probe actually enables us to do is actually take gas samples from within the combustor when we're actually running at full load. This is really uh, important to uh, gas turbine manufacturers where they're actually trying to design the actual combustion chambers, where they're using a lot of computational fluid dynamic software, and they need real-world data to, to validate that software. So we're actually providing that real-world data. Okay, we're now over the other side of the, um, of the rig room, and this is the high-pressure combustion rig, known as the HPCR. This is a, a much more modular rig. We have about half a dozen test modules which will actually fit in this section here. What we've actually got in here at the moment uh, is actually a Rolls-Royce Tay combustor in a pressure casing here. This is a project that's recently been completed for the European Aviation Safety Authority. So if we just go through the rig, this is our Tay combustor which actually provides a constant smoke source. 
which we can actually vary the smoke number um, depending on what air fuel ratio we actually uh, we're actually running the combustor. This part of the rig is the hot end simulator. This is simulating the turbine section on a gas turbine. So the actual gas um, and smoke exiting the, the actual combustor will actually travel through this hot end simulator. This is what's known as the high pressure stage, intermediate pressure stage and low pressure stage. So what we're trying to do with this rig is maintaining the same residence time as would be seen by that particle or, or the gas species um, in the real world. But we're also reducing the pressure and the temperature to actually try and recreate the same chemical kinetics that would happen um, with the rotating turbine. So what we do then, um, what we should have at the exit here is a representative gas sample and smoke sample that you would get out of a, a gas turbine. So we take this sample uh, into our analysis room. This is another example of a test module that would go on the HPCR. This is actually an optical combustor, so if we come a bit closer, and we can actually see the optical windows. So we actually have another optical combustor inside there. This rig has been used for fundamental um, research, looking at alternative fuels, looking at uh, hydrogen-rich gases, uh, CO2 uh, mixed with methane, looking at flame speeds, burning velocities, turbulence intensities. This is actually for um, a Framework 5 project called AFTER. Okay. As well as combustion work here at GTRC, we actually do work with atmospheric sprays as well, because we have a, a lot of interest from um, end users, uh, gas turbine uh, end users, where they're trying to look at alternative fuels, for example, converted to a bio oil or a biodiesel, and the properties of that diesel will change when it's sprayed, uh, or the properties of the fuel will change when it's sprayed. So we use this, uh, what we call the spray rig here, with laser diagnostics to um, characterize those sprays. So we've looked at preheating bio oils to, uh, to get the same characteristics as, um, as a diesel. Okay, we also um, provide a training facility here for chorus combustion engineers and graduates. We use various rigs here to, um, to help uh, explain flammability limits, purging practices, and the dangers of working with the types of gases that they do, such as coke oven gas, blast furnace gas. So we have an explosions rig here, we have a dust explosions rig, and we also have a, a small Bunsen burner type rig where the, um, the actual operators come for us, can play around with the different gases, looking at um, flashback um, possibility and, and blow off. Okay, this is the control room. When we're actually running any tests downstairs in the rig room, all the personnel will come up to this room, uh, mainly for health and safety reasons. We actually can control the rig using three touch screens that you see here. We can control our air system, fuel system, uh, and water system through these screens. We've also got closed circuit television cameras in the rig room where we can monitor for uh, leaks and any problems during the test. So this is actually showing the high pressure combustion rig and the set the combustion rig. The cameras themselves have got a fantastic um, zooming capability where we can actually go in and check instrumentation but also we can look for leaks and any faults. The uh, information from the actual rig, such as thermocouples, pressure transducers, comes up through a, a data acquisition system and is displayed on this top screen here. So we actually drive the rig from the data that we get on that screen. Okay, that's really sort of the, um, the virtual tour of the, the GTRC. I uh, hope it was sort of enjoyable and informative.